Now we are going to have an illustration of uh, the existence and uniqueness theorem for differential equations. So say we have this initial value problem where we have to solve this differential equation so that the solution passes through this point. So we are wondering whether there will be a solution or if there is a solution, would the solution be unique? So for the existence part, what we have is this, that if uh, this function f t y, if that is continuous in an open uh, region containing uh, this point a b, okay, then so this is an open rectangle, you can have an open circle and still the rectangle will be satisfied because you can have a rectangle inside the open open circular disk. So anyways, let me not stretch too much on that. So if you have this, if the function is continuous in an open rectangle containing AB, then we are guaranteed the existence of a solution near this point, near actually AB or rather strictly speaking, near t equals a, okay? Now moreover, if this f t y and its partial derivative with respect to y, if both these functions are continuous in an open rectangle containing a, b, that rectangle may be a little smaller, then what happens is that the solution exists near t equals a, all right? So we have existence and is and also the solution is unique. So let's take up an example. So say we have this differential equation dy dt equals ty and uh, y at a is b then so here our f t y is t y and this is a polynomial function. Uh, it is continuous on the entire plane so therefore a solution will exist no matter where the point, you know, giving the initial condition is, that is for any value of a and b, we are guaranteed a solution. And moreover, uh, since df dy is t, and that is also continuous in, in the entire ty plane, the solution for this initial value problem will be unique as well. And you can even calculate by using the separation of variables that a general solution for this differential equation is given by this after you integrate. And when you apply the initial condition, then what happens is you can solve and see that this constant c is going to be b times e to the negative a square over two and the final solution being this. You can write it in a different way. Now, this is not how you prove the existence and uni uniqueness theorem that you shall prove uh, later on in a more theoretical setting. This is just a very much on the ground illustration of how this works. So now let's take up a you know, different initial value problem. Here our f t y is what? Our f t y is this function. So what happens here is this. Since this function is continuous on the entire t y plane, so again for any values of a and b, like for y a equals b, we are guaranteed existence of a solution. Okay, now let's go to the uniqueness part. So here we have this, the partial derivative of the f t y or this function here with respect to y is, if you just use the power rule, 2t over 3 times y to the one thirds. Now in this case, y cannot be zero. And therefore, for the uniqueness, we have uh, only the upper half of the xy plane or the lower half of the xy plane, uh, uniqueness cannot be guaranteed on along this y equals zero or uh, you know for 
this point a b for the initial condition y a equals b along this line y equals zero as i said uniqueness cannot be guaranteed so let's take an illustration of this that is say instead of uh, y a equals b so zero y zero equals zero is our initial condition that is our solution has to pass through zero zero so so far as the existence is concerned you can see that uh, y t equals zero is a solution why because dy dt this quantity is uh, zero for y t equals zero as well as uh, if you substitute y equals zero here this product will be zero so the differential equation is satisfied so in this case we notice this that there is one solution uh, one moment that there is one solution and that is what y uh, let me just change color here that is y equals zero so that's one solution and now let's see if we can find another one because here uniqueness was not guaranteed so let's just investigate that so if you look at the differential equation in general what you have is that you can use uh, separation of variables so here if we bring y on this side we get uh, the variables uh, separated right and we can integrate both the sides and what shall we have is here we got integral of this quantity then that of t so what you will have is just use the power rule so you will have three times y to the one thirds equal how much t square over two right so we have t square over 2 and plus a constant c now if we apply the initial condition y 0 equals uh, 0 okay then uh, what will happen when y t is 0 y is 0 so c will become 0 right so since c becomes uh, 0 uh, what we have is we have 3y to the one third equal t square or y to the one third is t square over 6 okay and uh, then we can take cubes of both the sides so another solution is what y equals uh, t to the power 6 when we take the cube okay uh, divided by uh, 6 cube which will be what 216 uh, we can check so now we have two different uh, solutions of uh, this initial value problem one is right here y t equals 0 and the other one is uh, this one uh, t to the 6 over 216 if I sketch a, a crude graph of it that will be excuse me okay that will look like what it's uh, t to the 6 over 216 so it'll be really flatter here so we, we got two different uh, solutions uh, when we did not fulfill the hypothesis of the uniqueness of the solution Alright, so let me know if you have questions.